Hey guys, UWG Nick here, and welcome back to Sekiro. <clears throat> I was fucking around in Kuro's room, and I got this prompt. I don't really know what this is about, or if they're gonna, like, talk more later. I, I think I need to hug the wall. Get it? Oops, I shouldn't break stuff here. Let me go fix that wall. I wonder what they're talking about, though. No, not per- actually, yeah, let's purchase. Now we have no money. <coughs> I don't know, like, why I would need to eavesdrop on him. Did we fix the wall? Oh, the wall is still broken. Oh, well. I know why we would need to eavesdrop on him, though. Like, I'm his freaking shinobi. He should be, like, completely okay with telling me pretty much everything. Right? Wait, was that, like, an unticked? Is there more? Where was it? Do I have to rest between eavesdrops to get... Get like more info? Oh, what are you? You're sitting down now. Where is Emma? Emma's up there. What in the fuck is going on? Yeah. Why did y'all piss off to your own locations? What's going on? Oh, I'm actually going to confront her. ミコ様がそうおっしゃっていたおそらく何か秘められているそうですかどうした竹る様の記録に解釈という言葉がありましたおそらく can we just cut his hand a little? Fushidachinomichio, <laughs> それは承知しています。ですが、狼との苦労様を殺さぬ道がないものでしょうか。竜院は常ならぬ力、そのような道もあるやもしれぬ。ならば狼との苦労様を殺さぬ道、それを共に探ってはいただけませぬか。No, I'm like all game for that. Like, I don't want the Lord to die. We want to get rid of the uh, powers, but we don't want him dead. I'd be out of a job. Okay, things are getting complicated. I don't like this. Like it's it's it should be simple. I'm the I'm the shinobi and uh, Kuro is the master and end of story. Like keep him alive, yes, but don't hide shit from him. That's weird. Either way, uh. I'm thinking that we should go face off against those headless and whatever, that area in the mist that we're in. We should continue down that path. You have anything for me? Okay. You have drink? No. I don't have any gourd seeds. Bye bye. I think we should go. No. <laughs> I think we should go to the headless thing or that mist place. But I, first I need to find some divine confetti. So give me a second, I'll go hunt that down.
All right, guys, I went online and checked where I can find divine confetti, and apparently you can buy some from the old lady. Now, the internet said that if I use a, a balloon, a Mibu balloon of something, next to her, she'll give me something. And since I got 12 Mibu balloons of wealth and I haven't been using them much, I'm gonna try popping one of those and see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so we got a Ungo sugar. Right, and the last one then is the. Okay, so I can use three, and she gives me something for each one. Well, we'll, we'll burn through these, because I need that uh, confetti. We'll get an Akos, and the last one will be. Uh, well, how should we call it? The thing that I need. The confetti. But then we should also try giving her sh uh, the rice. Fine confetti. Well, now we have three of those. Okay. Uh, but then we also have the rice, the rice thing. Yeah, one is fresh, one is dried. It's over there. The fresh one is over there. With the cliff through the hole. That's where we'll find it. Eve. We've heard all this before. Uh, let's give her the rice. Oh, the hell are we doing here? Why did the puppet fly a kite? Is this the puppet puppet skill that we got? Puppeteer? Wasn't there like some place in yeah, that thing. Wasn't there like a dude standing right there in front of it? Maybe you can have him wind it up? Hmm. I wonder if you could like get across with the kite. It's a plan. It's something that we'll try in some other time. Uh, I wanted to show you that just because it was a thing that we did. And uh, we also have one more thing that we haven't done at Simple Temple. I'm just gonna run past all these fucks. Because, uh, you remember the big guy who wanted the flower because everybody was there and he wasn't and the child was alone and whatnot? Uh, he asked us to disappear him or make him disappear. And at the time, we couldn't. The only thing we could do was like, I can't do that. And then we walked away. But since then, we have gotten that divine feather kind of thing. Uh, can't remember what it's called. Divine abduction or something like that. Let's use instead of this one, like uh, this one. Yeah, divine abduction. Maybe that's what he wants me to use on him. Oh, right. I remember talking to him before, just when I got it. And that's exactly what he wants us to do. Bye-bye.
So where'd he go? Wait, that's it? That's the end of it? We're not gonna get any... You're not gonna tell us what happened? Well, that was worthless. Never mind, I'm gonna go back to hunting confettis. All right, guys, I am back on track. I got myself some uh, confettis. I actually ended up going to farm them at Ashina Castle. We have five of them now, which is plenty. I think that should be enough. Uh, the thing that I'm worried about here is that because I haven't played in such a long time, like even farming at a place that I know, I thought was pretty difficult because I just I just can't fight anymore. I suck. So I'm really worried about this fight with the headless because I know it's a headless coming. So this is gonna be uh, super duper interesting. Could you stop screaming? Jeez, am I gonna have to kill you? Oh my God, shut the fuck up! Damn bird. There's a something. A lot of somethings. Uh, that's a lot of mist, though. Oh, shit. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Could you stop? You are slow as shit. I'm used to fighting much quicker enemies than you. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna clear the area so I don't, don't get stabbed. There we go. I think this was the path that we needed to go down to get to... Well, I'm guessing both of the paths leads to it, really. Could you... Jesus Christ, man. Like, I'm so bad at fighting now again. Fighting the Headless is gonna be just a nightmare. That's a Headless. We're so close to level up, though. Oh, I should farm that. Fuck it, we're going in. Now I know these guys do terror, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start I'm gonna right off the bat just fucking I'm not gonna mess around. I'm gonna go for blood immediately. I'm gonna run in and just wail on the fucker with everything I got, and I will do so with all my antidotes. And a big fat divine confetti. And maybe even like just fucking go for the... This thing. That, that seems a bad idea. Oh, they teleport and shit. Okay. Okay, uh, I think I'm, I'm kind of screwed. If I don't get the pacifying agent down, I will die. I'm pretty sure I will die. We're gonna try for it though. Nope. He never uses it like when he's close, it seems. And we are nowhere near killing this guy. I'm not sure what to do about this. Oh, don't use that ability, damn it. I can jump though, like, that makes me able to at least get away. But, mm, I'm starting to think that this isn't a, a good idea to use here. I'm so close to terror though. Is that a... Does he have a grab? That would just be fucking fantastic if he had a grab. And we also need... There's just so much stuff to use right now. Oh, come on. I mean, I haven't really done fuck all to him yet. Okay. And then big one. Okay, Terror goes up all the time, and on the big one, he pushes me back, which means fucking useless. 
If I parry, which I couldn't. If I parry, he just kills me. Did anybody catch how much health I did to him? Because that felt like nothing. Now, there has to be a trick to those guys. Oh my god, the experience loss. Not that it matters. Like, I have, I have zero right now. I have... It's forever until I get a skill up anyway, so... I can farm it at some point. Now, there has to be a fucking trick to these guys, because they can't be that annoying. I mean, I used... I used, like... Well, I threw everything I had at him that he's supposed to be weak at. Weak to. And it pretty much did fuck all. Uh, we don't have that, and we don't have that. Yeah, I did nothing to him. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's an optional boss. I'm thinking about just leaving him for now. Because that burned through a annoying amount of my stuff for no results. There's something up there. Another fucking chicken. But we have still a path to go, so... I'm just gonna ignore the headless. He doesn't feel that scary anymore now that I've faced off against him. Now, he was a bitch. Don't get me wrong about that. But not that scary. There's an item, and if I go down there, I'm gonna get stuck in with him again. I think that I'm going to ignore him. I don't think I can get a like a death blow on him either before we have to... Mm. Eh, I want my sp spring-loaded things. Supposedly he's a lot easier if you have the purple umbrella. We can't get that yet, so... Whatevs. Oh wait, chick. Okay, death blow. Yeah, so... No headless this time, at least not defeated. Uh, you got to see him though. We're gonna just continue down this path and see what comes up next. A lot of dead dudes, it seems. See an item over there. Now, these dead dudes ain't that bad, to be honest. Because they're all like the weaker type enemies that we fought many, many times before. Bite down, that's one of those self-poison things. Weird, by the way, that I didn't lose any... Well, yeah, I didn't use my last resurrect, that's why. But still, I, I would expect to have two resurrect points now, not three. Adamantite Scrap. I think that's actually one of those really high-level items that we really want to be collecting right now. I'm just fucking jumping down. Yeah, I fucking heard the wolves. Oh, okay. How about... No! Ah! Oh, fuck off. Holy hell! What in the fuck is going on over here? Why do I have arrows in my back? I don't know who, but somebody's gonna get fucked. Go away. You too. Somebody get me up a tree so I can get out of here. Now who the fuck was shooting arrows at me? Somebody here? Where though? Fuck you! Dick. 
That was just one. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more. Well, that's one less, at least, to worry about. Light down. Light coin purse. Contact medicine. Light down is interesting. It's a difficult item to use, but can be real handy. When you need it. And if you can figure out how to use it. I don't know if I explained it before, but you should use it just before you get killed. Because it doesn't burn a resurrection node. Or it doesn't lock you out of a resurrection node. So if a boss kills you, you lose a... You, uh, you get the black streak and you can't resurrect a second time for a while. If you kill yourself with bite down, the black streak doesn't appear and you can actually apply all your nodes in a single fight, even without getting to the second stage of the boss fight. You can just kind of keep it rolling. I feel like I should be able to get up on that, you know? Where? Oh. Oh, come on! More? They can see me, I should be able to see them. No, of course they can shoot me then as well, but... Oh my god. Fuck off. And can you get me up there? Thank you. Fuck me. Huh. And, huh. Where exactly are we? Like, there's a, there's so much I haven't explored back there. Oh, uh, is that one of those drunkards again? Yeah, not dealing right now. I think there was monkeys as well. I don't know if I should... Try to puppeteer them? Wait, the whistle could annoy animals, I think. We should try having him fight as monkeys there. I think he was sitting with monkeys anyways. Snapseed, oh. Oh fuck, that scared me. I could actually get a death blow from above here. Keep that in mind. Still not gonna fight him right now. I need to go, I don't know, look it up or something, like wh how you're supposed to compete with him. Because blocking still gave me terror. I wasn't doing pretty much any damage to him. I don't know, it, that, that was a, a very annoying kind of mini boss. Like there's been a lot of annoying mini bosses, but he was annoying for this like slow bullshit reason. The lights lead to that place. I think that's the house that we need to go to uh, next. That guy with the f by the fire who was bleeding out his guts. He was like, oh, pagoda, second floor. There's a hole in the roof or some shit like that. We're going to choose to trust him. And just go for that. That guy is making, that dog is making a lot of noise. I'm, I'm not super fan of that. Okay. There's a dog somewhere. Well, I say it's a dog, but it's a wolf, really. It's a one shot, too. Can I get over there without having to deal with the ground floor? Doesn't seem like it. What the hell is going on over here? Why is you whistling? And how do- okay, there. A 
fuck is going on over here? Oh, of course. Oh, there we go. Die. Is it a ninja door? No? I'm sure it was a ninja door. So how do I get up? Why is that green? Like, what am I missing here? It shouldn't be hard to get up to that floor. What are you staring at? Ceramic shard? Okay. Okay! That was a trick! That was a fucking trap, straight up. Those sneaky bitches. Oh, come on! That was super bullshit. He faded out just as I... You piece of shit. What? Oh my god! How frustrating does a one character get to be? Oh, that was handy. I hate the axe dudes, they're so slow, it just throws me off completely. No more of those trap things, thank you. Like that tree is the key, because he said second floor, and I need to get up there. Now how do I get up there? Why can't Sekiro just fucking climb the rope? There's a ledge over there. Are they suggesting I need to like go around? So I don't want to go around. Oh, fuck off. I'm gonna go up here, hang out for a while. Uh, that does look like a round though, doesn't it? Like that tree branch and all that. Am I gonna have to go past the Juzol guy? The drunkard guy? I wanna like kinda just try running past him and see if that's the place we want to go. I don't wanna fight him in the fucking shadows. Shoot me, you damn monkey. Uh, Tokujiro the glutton can have fun over there. I just want to know if this is the path I should take. It's kind of looking like it. It's going in the right direction. Yeah, we'll come back for the glutton later. Maybe even in the next episode. I have no idea where this one ends. Okay, second floor. Now who's the whistler? What exactly are you? Are those guys come, gonna come alive? Let's whistle at him. Miss Noble. What? What? This is a joke. Is there, is, is there a trap somewhere? Is there going to be second stage to this fight that's going to be insane? Be 
Because I'm not like super impressed here. This is gonna be like unkillable, one of the undead. I mean, he's pretty tough though. Just took a sword through the gut and didn't even blink. Maybe you should kill him with the mortal blade just in case. Oh, I lost my mortal blade. Hold on. I'm gonna kill him with the mortal blade. Just in case. I failed. I think. Hey, he's still alive. Lump of gray wax. A lump of fatty wax has formed inside the body and turned pitch black. Used for occultic prosthetic tools upgrades of an advanced nature. A long suffered illness will see the growth turn large and blacker still. It is customary to run water over the site of an extracted growth. Ew. It was like a, a black hairy tumor. Now, what exactly were you? You weren't exactly super good at fighting. What the hell happened here? Did you blow the roof off the house when he died or? Was it all an illusion? I'm, I'm gonna go with all of it was an illusion. This reminds me of Terranigma, I believe it was called. A Super Nintendo RPG, which was amazing, where you pretty much created the world. And then you ran around in your world. And there was one village in the desert where as soon as you made it there, everybody was like, hey, you should you should stay. You should like go to sleep. You should uh, get an in. Aren't you tired? Ooh, ooh. Everybody was just like suggesting that you go to fucking sleep. At some point you were just like, fuck, I'll go to sleep. And when you woke up, everybody were zombies and they were trying to murder you. And yeah, it was it was terrifying at my young age. It was absolutely terrifying. This reminded me of that because it was all an illusion. Also, the city was all an illusion. Then when you woke up, everything was rotten and, and broken and borked. Why does it feel like everything changed? Oh, this opened up. But there's still that Juzo guy or that whatever, the glutton with the monkeys. He should still be around. Also, there's a lot to explore behind us. So, I'm going to do a bit of a loot run. It's probably not going to be too interesting to watch. So, I'm just going to cut a hair and bring you along if anything cool happens. All right. We made it back to this statue and uh, nothing eventful happened, really. The, the, what do you call him? The headless is still there, standing there looking angry. And I am going to kill him eventually. And uh, what else? Uh, yeah, the drunkard or the glutton, we still have to deal with him. But I think actually that this is going to be a good episode right here. We killed a boss, I guess. So that's a that's a big step forward. And we finally conquered our fear and got rid of this goddamn mist. Now we can maybe actually finally start moving forward a little bit. Also, really interesting story shift there with like us kind of obeying Kuro, but not really. But like focusing on protecting him, but still getting rid of the, the dragon power thing. I don't know what ending I'm heading towards, really. I know it's not Shura. Because I know that Shura is, which is basically the shitty ending, is a choice that you, like, act. It's one choice. And it's not a choice I would make otherwise, anyways. So, it's, uh, there, I think there's, like, three or four endings. And I don't know which one I'm heading for right now. Uh, especially not with that shift in conversation there. That was, a uh, that was weird. I haven't heard about that one. Either way. Enough rambling. I'm going to end today's episode right here. Uh, if you're still watching, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And share my video and channel with other people with all the right and or people who like to watch Let's Plays because that's what I do. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.